Hey, welcome back to a new video. Just in case it's your first time here, my name is Stephen, and I'm the man with the hat. I use a metal detector to dig up trash. I've been doing that for a long time, but recently I've started exploring about turning all the trash I find into something to treasure and give away. Today I'm turning this into a coin ring. That's as far as I've got so far. When I dug that up, it was a grotty old George V, 1918, 92.5% silver half crown. The legend was in good condition and there was no marks on the reeded edge. So this would make a lovely coin ring. But today I'm going to show you how I powder coat them to make coloured rings with the highlights polished off. Now at the moment I'm giving away coin rings on every video where it says coin ring giveaway. So it's only the videos where it says hashtag coin ring giveaway. But this is a trial ready for 2019 where I would like to give a coin ring away on every video starting from January. But have you ever thought how a YouTube creator can afford to give things away and make a living? To be honest with you, we can't. We do it to encourage you, to engage with us, to like the video, to share it with other people or support us in some way where we can keep on creating, providing you with content that you can watch free at any time you choose. There is a way that all YouTube fans can help support their favourite creators by using a page called Patreon. Patreon is a simple way to help your favourite creators keep creative and producing quality videos. I'm also offering masterclasses from 2019 where you can come along to my study here in my home in Yorkshire and you can make yourself a coin ring, you provide the coin or I will if you wish. We'll have a hot lunch, endless amounts of tea and coffee and at the end of the day you go home with a coin ring that you've made yourself without having to buy all the equipment. With your support, it means I can give more back to my community. I can make a meaningful difference. And in return for your patronage, I want to give you entertainment, education and value. So please consider joining me as a Patreon and see the link in the video description. Now, let's get down to finishing this ring with a powder coat. Right, the next stage is to Prepare this for the powder coating and understanding how powder coating works. It's rather like dust being attracted to the static in the television screen. We're all aware of that, aren't we, in our computer screens. That is what happens to the powder coating before you bake it on. And this is how we do it. You need a negative and a positive. The positive is a charge you put through the object itself. In this particular case, the silver coin ring. The negative is going to be in the powder, that be negatively charged. So the powder is attracted to the ring. And the way we do that, we have to put a clip onto the ring. But if we do that, then we're going to have a problem with leaving no powder where the clip is. So I've come up with this idea, which is a heat proof resin cone made a small channel in the side of it so I can get a piece of steel wire through the middle with a hook on the end so I could hang it and I can put the ring on like this and that means the wire is making contact with the ring on the inside now we have to tape off the areas which we don't want powder coat on we don't want powder to get down in there and cover the inside. We don't want powder coat on the reeded edge. And we don't want powder coat on that polished, sanded edge. You can mark off the narrow banding on both edges, just leaving the middle exposed. And even though I've been handling this in gloves, I'm just going to give it another little coat with acetone just to make sure that's totally clean. Now one of the things you need is a compressor. This is mine and then it goes up to, well, a long way, 180 PSI. 
the minimum you need really is about 50 but first of all attach the airline to my powder coating gun and turn it on so there we go I've not touched that it's already the electrode is touching the ring on the inside and the rest is masked off it's a heat proof plug I'm going to shove this through a hole in the top of this plastic biscuit box like that and then I'm going to put this clip on the top like that the other end of the lead attaches to the gun which gives it a positive charge to the ring and it just leaves me to test spray brilliant now then everything's on everything's working let's spray well that's ready that's evenly coated and it's ready to be fired now for the next important part these cheap commercial ovens aren't very reliable for holding and maintaining a specific temperature no matter what it says here about 140 190 or whatever they're unreliable using this digital thermometer I can check the temperature in the oven and it's 237 degrees that's far too much I need 180 degrees now that's going to cool down a lot because the doors open but what I'm going to do is disconnect the ring from its positive charge and I'm going to hang it in there and let it heat up to 180 degrees this means the powder is going to start to flow that means it's going to go from a powder to a liquid and start to shine and it's when that powder shines we then set a timer on our phone for 10 minutes okay 179 10 minutes turn the oven off and get this out to cool down now that's cooled down enough to handle so we'll get the tape off we'll take it off the resin plug it's not finished yet by a long way it's got to go back into the oven again for another 10 minutes but not until we've highlighted the high spots Now that took me in a region of 45 minutes to get that far and it's a remarkable job. It's not finished and it needs to be put back in the oven for 10 minutes at 180 to finish the curing process so it's very hard wearing and it will last forever. It'll also bring up that lovely blue colour. Right, well that's the ring put back in. We'll wait to that to get to 180 degrees. We'll test it with a thermometer and when it has we'll give it 10 minutes to fully cure and harden. Hey now whilst this is getting up the temperature I want to tell you this isn't the giveaway ring. Don't think I'm giving this one away it's too expensive in time and labour to give this one away. I'm going to sell it. I need to start making some money from these rings that I make and if you want to buy this then you can buy it. Details in the video description and if you want one just like it or a special date or a special coin contact me I'll do it for you that's not a problem and don't forget you can become a patron too and get a free coin ring not like this though should all now be finished apart from the final polishing can't wait to see it Here's the results of the coin ring winner giveaway from my last video. Well done. To be in with a chance for the next draw, make sure you are a subscriber, leave a thumbs up, and you comment on this video with the hashtag coin ring giveaway. Good luck. TikTok, you're